Is your desk job unfulfilling? Does your suburban life leave you yearning for adventure? Do you love buying stuff that's unnecessary? Then I've got two words for you. Over landing. What's overlanding, you ask? Well, it's like camping, except you bring a lot of expensive stuff and you sleep with your car. Yeah. So you get to the trails and uh, you got to air down the tires. I don't know why I read it on a forum once. But once you air down your tires, you're going to need onboard air. To put the air back in the tires. Yeah, and you should always buy expensive. Uh, this this brand is called Slim A. They're Italian. Expensive gear is more durable. What are some good items that no overlander ever leaves home without? You're gonna need a high lift jack for those sticky situations. And uh, maxi tracks, cause um, learning how to drive and pick lines is hard. So you stick these under your tires and you can traction. Very important. You're also gonna want a good recovery strap. and a winch. No rig is complete without a good winch. For stickier situations. You're gonna need at least one jerry can of gasoline, maybe even two. It's not safe to go out without it. Us overlanders, we love tiny tools. So you're gonna want a very small shovel. Mine's in the shop right now. You're gonna want a hatchet, you know, for sticky situations. And no hatchet, or any tool for that matter, is complete without paracord. This stuff, it's tough. And um, you could use it for a lot of things get you a good tiny hatchet. You're also gonna want at least one full-size spare tire. Never leave home without that. So we've seen the type of recovery gear you might need, but what about living? You're gonna want at least one extreme cold weather sleeping bag and one, you know, not extreme cold weather sleeping bag. Come on in. No overlanding rig can be really serious and, you know, good without a full kitchen. You're gonna wanna bring survival food that's shelf stable and that is delicious. Also, you're gonna need the kitchen sink in survival situations that are desperate, where you might need to charge things, like your phone. You're gonna want extra battery capacity. Marine batteries are deep cycle, they last longer. And if you can afford it, there's expensiver ones. No rig is complete without the Brometic air conditioning you just can't even be taken seriously. What do you do when nature calls in the wilderness? No problem. No overlander who's worth his weight goes without a toilet. I don't have toilet paper. You absolutely cannot overland without at least three light bars. 
visibility is very important on the trails. As you can see, I'm a very serious overlander and my rig is extremely capable. So I almost never need to use my maxi pad track tractions. Also, I never need to use my winch because I never get stuck. Oh no, my gear. It's fine because I bought quality gear and it's durable. After a long day navigating down the toughest fire service roads you can find two hours from your home, no one except for a fool can sleep on the ground in a tent. Every overlander knows you need a rooftop tent. I'm still waiting for my uh, whittle ladder to get here. So mine's a little tricky to get into, but let me show you. Rooftop tents are superior for their extreme ease of use and, uh, you know, sleeping like up off the ground and stuff. Cause there's like bugs down there. So like, we'll just, it's not even that hard, you know, but it'll be easier when my ladder gets here. The luxuries of a rooftop tent cannot be denied. It is much more comfortable than laying on the the earth. So, oh god, oh god. Oh, the oh. My minor malfunction that you'll have that sometimes. I'm going to send this this tent back. This is the worst RTT I've ever ever I am not a brand ambassador for this company. Nothing calms my nerves like the roar of mud terrains. Come on, the light was green. Mud, mud terrains and, and, my, and, and traffic. What a soothing roar. Nothing accompanies a crisp mountain morning like an artisanal coffee. Overlanding isn't about the destination, it's about the trip. My favorite thing about overlanding is you, no matter where you're driving, you're going over the land, so you're always overlanding. Real overlanders know that. like the serenity of getting miles away from society and just being out in nature you know it's beautiful to be you know it's good for the soul to not be anywhere near other people you know just surviving on your own <laughs> Get you a winch. More beer than gear. Come on. Don't be a poser. Don't get much more over the land than that.